What's going on everybody? I'm Terrence and this is Bank Shipping. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Once again, what's going on everybody? I uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful morning so far. Uh, if you're still in bed, go ahead and get up. Get that grind started. Uh, we are dropping off in Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, those barriers that I picked up last video uh, that got canceled, postponed, whatever, for COVID. Uh, we are now up here to drop those off. Um, in case you guys have never been to Jersey City, it is literally on the outskirts uh, of New York City. Uh, basically, for this drop off, where I'm at is um, you get right up to the Holland Tunnel, which takes you into New York City, and you make a left. So instead of going through the tunnel, you make a left and you stay in Jersey, um, and that's where I'm dropping off. Uh, so long ride, but an easy ride uh, coming up here. Um, got beat up pretty bad coming up here, coming through Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know how many of you guys uh, run through Pennsylvania at all, but it's one state I'll never understand. You know, they got the second highest fuel tax in the whole United States. You know, they toll the crap out of roads. I think it's something like up to almost 65 cents a mile on the, on the turnpike. Uh, I just heard the other day that they're trying to toll bridges, uh, but only the truckers. Uh, so, you know, you, you spend all that money in tolls and things and you kind of wonder where it's going because you get beat to crap, you know, coming up the road with potholes and, you know, they got concrete roads and the spans, you know, from the pieces of concrete have opened up and then they try to put concrete in between them to fix them, but one's higher than the other. So, I mean, it's just like running over speed bumps the entire way, you know, and my trip was straight up 81 to 78 and 78 straight in here to, to Jersey City. Uh, so, you know, Pennsylvania was a rough ride. Not so bad getting into Jersey. There's some spots, but it definitely smooths out a lot better than what it is in PA. So Pennsylvania, I don't know where y'all's monies are going, politicians pockets or something, uh, but y'all need to figure that out because it's a mess. But uh, anyway, that's enough of that soapbox. Uh, I actually kept it clean, to be honest with you. I mean, I'd, I'd like to, to say a lot more things, but I ain't going to go that far. But uh, we already went in here and talked to uh, the guy that's going to unload us. We got here a little early, um, so he's still waiting on a couple guys to get here uh, to help unload. So I'm going to get out, unstrap, and get ready to get unloaded. Make sure I put on plenty of clothes, put my jacket and and my gator on because it's like 20 degrees out here so uh i'm gonna try not to freeze so once i do that i'll get back with y'all everybody good morning hopefully everybody's having a good morning so far like always if you ain't up already what are you doing get up get that grind started uh we are we picked up yesterday from our customer after we dropped off in jersey city uh came back picked up got loaded uh yesterday afternoon went back to the house drop off this morning uh nice load 
nice tall load an even load you know it's six foot in the front both those skids are actually two different sizes uh, one's a little bit taller than the other then we got this right here uh, that's a little bit taller it's like seven and a half foot uh, with that box up there uh, and then it goes back to six foot they already got a couple of uh, couple of skids off uh, and then because of these right here uh, those are actually nine feet long as opposed to eight foot with the rest of the stuff um, so it actually made us longer on the left side of the trailer than it was on the right side uh, and then plus we had to tarp all of this stuff so uh, yesterday it was cold and windy and uh, it was a fun time tarping yesterday to say the least uh, and then this morning it's still cold or it's actually even colder a uh, little less wind but still windy uh, I think I got taken out by my tarp like three times while I was trying to roll it up uh, getting everything undone so we're just going to wait for these guys to get the rest of these skids off uh, get our paperwork signed and then we are going to be headed back to the same customer uh, to get another load uh, that unloads up in Pennsylvania Monday so once I get out of here and get back and everything I'll get back with you guys all right guys i am frozen I'm like a popsicle it is cold we got caught in the dark windy uh yeah i'm froze i need to get some heat but uh we got our load picked up uh from our customer that loads or delivers monday in Pennsylvania, Northwestern Pennsylvania. Uh, but I doubt that we will get that off on Monday uh, because they're calling for snow. It seems like the whole East Coast is getting like a foot of snow. So I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to play it by ear. Uh, you know, if it's snowing, it's supposed to start Sunday. So if it's snowing too bad, I just won't go on Monday. Uh, you know, no load is worth your life out on these roads. Uh, and then also a lot of times soon as snow hits the ground, uh, Pennsylvania shuts down roads to truck traffic. So uh, we'll just have to play that one by air and we'll see what happens. Uh, so, you know, it, it took us a little while to to get tarped uh, and loaded. Uh, they were letting people tarp inside because the, the wind was so bad. Uh, but then when I got there, I was I threw my tarps on inside, uh, but another step deck came, uh, and they only have one step deck bay. So to be courteous, so you know that guy wasn't waiting all night to get loaded. I went ahead and pulled out and and bungeed my tarp while I was outside. Uh, probably should have took a couple more minutes and, and you know at least bungeed the front, so you know it didn't blow up on me, but. Uh, we got it done. Took a little longer, took a little extra time, but it is what it is. We got it done. Uh, but speaking of tarps, funny story, actually. Uh, today, this morning when I was dropping my load, I forgot to tell you all this on the earlier portion that I recorded. But uh, it was a lot windier this morning uh, than what it was, you know, this afternoon. And when I was untarping, you know, I'm, I'm laying my tarp out and everything so I can roll it up. And I actually thought about getting a video of me rolling up my tarp. Uh, and it's a shame that I didn't. I was like, you know, it's too windy. I probably won't do a video. Uh, but I should have did a video because you guys would have got some entertainment. Uh, you know, I got everything all rolled out nice and flat in between wind gusts. And uh, I went, you know, of course, had my lumber tarp on there. So, you know, I went, walked in the middle of the tarp so that I could go to the front and pull that flat back so I can continue rolling my tarp. And as I walk through the middle of the tarp, this huge gust of wind comes and picks up my whole tarp and encompasses me in the tarp. So if you can imagine me being in the middle of the tarp and the tarp encompassing me like a cocoon and me, you know, doing all this fighting, trying to get out of it. Uh, it would have been quite hilarious if you guys could have seen that. Uh, you know, it was almost like the game. I think it was called Parachute or something like that. You played it in elementary school. You know, you had that rainbow colored parachute and you lifted it up in the air and, you know, you ran underneath and tried not to get caught in it. That's about what it was like, except for it was a it, it wasn't fun. It was terrible. Uh, you know, got smacked in the face by a couple of buckles. But, hey, 
it is what it is. I'm still here, you know. So um wanted to tell you guys that. And then uh another thing is, silly me, while I was sitting there waiting to get loaded, I was like, oh, you know, I'll set, you know, set up and 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 make a video a little bit, uh, talk about uh rates, you know, because I've had a, a lot of people ask me about uh rate per mile and things like that. So, you know, I made a nice little five minute discussion of of rates and what i think about rates and somehow uh i don't know what i did but i didn't record so i was just in my truck talking to myself i guess so uh today doesn't really seem like to be my day uh ready for the weekend of course and and start over you know uh today just doesn't seem to be going my way uh so that footage is gone, but I don't remember everything I said in that video, but you know, I can go over a little bit more uh, right now to be kind of like a condensed version. Uh, but you know, for the guys who, and girls who are asking uh, about rates per mile and things like that, uh, as far as, you know, what you should quote and, and what's a good rate per mile to run at, um, it all depends. That That's really my, my best answer is it all depends, you know. There, there's no one set rate for everything. Uh, I know a lot of people, customers, brokers, they might try to set one set rate. Uh, and each customer is different. Each broker is different, things like that. Uh, but there's a lot of things that, that factor into your rate that you got to keep in mind. You know, I've said it before, you know, you got to keep your expenses in mind as far as like your truck your trailer payments if you have one, your insurance, you know, your fuel, uh, are there tolls where you're going, you know, for toll roads and things like that, you gotta factor all that stuff in. Uh, you know, me personally, I factor in the load itself. You know, is it a tall load that's gonna suck down fuel? Is it a low load, you know, that I'm gonna get a you know better fuel mileage that I might be able to skimp a couple of dollars off the rate if it's a little cheaper? Uh, so a lot of things go into it, uh, but I don't want you guys to get stuck in that $2 a mile type thing or that $2.50 a mile type thing. Uh, the reason because, you know, a lot of times if you run for $2 a mile, you might take a loss, uh, you know, especially for somebody like me who does local stuff, short stuff, you know, $2 a mile for a 200 mile run is $400. $400 isn't worth my time to run 200 miles anywhere with anything, you know, so don't get caught up in that, you know, that $2 or $2.50 a mile, uh, you know, and also that's rates that they were paying back in the 80s, <laughs> you know, how much has stuff gone up since the 80s, but we're still getting $2, $2 a mile is still supposed to be acceptable. We're supposed to be happy with $2 a mile. No, I'm not happy with $2 a mile. Some people may be able to, you know, to run on $2 a mile. That's fine. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm not the type of person that's happy with $2 a mile, especially if it's going Northeast, you know, with all the tolls and things like that, you know, you'll go broke running $2 a mile up there, uh, you know, so don't get caught up too much in, in the rate per mile. Uh, a lot of times it may be a case by case basis, uh, you know, and like I always preach, it's all about what works for you. You know, what works for me as far as rates may not work for you because you have a truck payment and trailer payment, whereas I don't. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind, you know, and also remember, you know, it's, it's your equipment. You don't want to run your stuff in the ground for cheap, you know, and. If everybody raises their rates on or, or what they're willing to, to run for, you know, it, it may have a, a good effect. You know, it would take, of course, a lot of truckers to do it, you know, but if everybody says, no, nah, we're not going to run for less than $3 a mile, rates might go up $3 a mile. Now, that's hypothetically speaking, and I know everybody's not going to do that because you got to make money. Uh, but, you know, that's just, just one of the things that a lot of people may preach. Uh, you know, if you run higher rates, you know, eventually the rates will trend up, but it's all about supply and demand. And that's too much for me to go into. Uh, I'd be here all day talking about supply and demand. Uh, but I just wanted to throw that little tidbit out there. It's definitely not what I had already thought I recorded. You know, I had a lot more, uh, but like I said, you know, it's 
I'm cold, it's dark, I'm tired, ready to go home. So, uh, and, and take a nice hot shower and everything like that. So sorry about, you know, not going further into detail with it. Maybe I'll do it another time. Uh, but I also don't want to seem like I'm repetitive. So, you know, keep the comments coming on the videos. If you got any questions, you know, I'll try to address them in the videos. Uh, you know, if you got any topics that you want to discuss, you know, I'll try to do that. Uh, you know, like I said, I always say, you know, this channel is for you guys. You know, I'm, I'm making this channel for you all uh, to be as helpful as possible as I can uh, by being 100 percent objective, you know, not feeding you guys any BS. So if there's anything you want to talk about, you know, just let me know in the comments or, or you know, send me you know, a message on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. And, and I'll do my best to address that. So with that being said, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Everybody stays safe. You know, if you're traveling out on the road, especially with, you know, on the East coast with the snow coming in, everybody stay safe. Uh, and as always stay prayed up, grind hard and stay humble.